Like, I do see the trend of food prices going up, and it's kind of, like, making me buy less. How's this for a sticker shock? A pack of chicken breasts at a Loblaws grocery store in Ontario going for almost $33.50. Others sharing prices around $37. The price of poultry partly due to supply. A bird cull because of the avian flu means over 5 million birds in Canada never made it to market, according to Sylvain Chalabois with Dalhousie University. But also something that, uh, that needs to be underscored here is that there are uh, several different chicken products out there. You may find an acronym like FF, free from hormones, free from my antibiotics. And, and those products tend to be a little bit more expensive. See, I didn't even have any chicken in the salad bowl that I made, but before I ate half of it, I had some smoked salmon in there, some mixed greens, some tomatoes, pocconcini, and some more rice. All of the things I put in here could get more expensive this year. Canada's food price report says BC and other products provinces could see a cost increase of up to 7%. At this superstore in Vancouver, prices for chicken breasts are also hovering around the $30 mark. The food price report says higher production costs, inflation, climate change and the COVID-19 pandemic are all contributing to higher prices in 2023. So what can consumers do? You know, you can eat cheaper food, eat more beans and oatmeal. I okay, more shop at No Frills now rather than other more expensive grocery stores. I think I still would buy chicken and things, but maybe just less frequently. The food price report says the price shock should only last for the first half of the year before things calm down in July. In Vancouver, Kier Junos, City News.